Okay guys, let's go ahead and set up our simulations here. I'm going to start by going to my liquid particles here and add a square emitter. Let's go ahead and I'm going to hit W to get my move tool. Put this thing up a bit. I'm going to put my first simulation at about here. This is going to be where the uh, particles start to emit here and they uh, come down and finally fill the whole logo. So let's go ahead and put this thing where we want. Okay. So let's put this thing about maybe here. I'm going to put one to go to my top view and make it about here. And also I'm going to go to my scale tool, make it a bit smaller. So it kind of is inside the, uh, let's go ahead and select the emitter. There we go. I'm going to hit two to go to my one of side views here. Great. Select my rotate tool, try to rotate it this way upward. Select the move tool again. And I think something like this will be enough. I'm going to go to my perspective view here. And um, I guess it's going to be enough, even though I'm going to make it a bit smaller on X axis, something like this. Now this is our first emitter. Let me go ahead and change some of the, double click on this relationship editor. So uh, let's go ahead to the, the first thing I'm gonna change is change the speed to something like uh, 2.5. I'm gonna add the V random and H random vertical and horizontal random to something like four or three. So the particles when come out of the emitter, they won't be uh, very disciplined and there are going to be uh, some irregularity and chaos that w will make the simulation much more uh, nicer. And uh, I think this is enough for our first um, basic particle um, simulation, our first emitter. I'm going to select this and control and also I'm going to actually go ahead and under display just uh, assign a color. Let me go ahead maybe this orange would be nice. Then I'm going to select the emitter and control D to create a duplicate from the emitter. And I'm just going to uh, one of my side views and I'm going to go ahead and maybe put this thing about here. Okay. And also rotate it. So it kind of tries to emit from this side. Okay. I'm going to just go ahead and move it. Let's select the second one and see how exactly they're working together. I'm going to select this first one and make sure it's just kind of uh, maybe in a place like this. Rotate it. Okay. And the second one, I'm definitely going to make it uh, a bit smaller. Okay. So I'm going to select the scale here and scale it down on X axis. Maybe something like this would be nice. And then again, go to the uh, side views, hit W. And let's go ahead and maybe put this thing about here. Okay. I'm going to change the color for this one, maybe to uh, something like this. Just uh, so we have a nicer uh, viewport representation and we can uh, separate the different emitters from each other easily using these colors. Okay. And I'm actually going to use the something quite similar for the mid-range just to um, have a better understanding of what's going on in our scene here. So let's go ahead and select this orange. There we go. Now this is our uh, first two emitters. I'm going to hit 4 to go back to my perspective editor. The next thing I'm going to add some demons. Uh, the first thing I would add uh, is the K uh, volume. I'm going to add the K volume. Basically, uh, K volume, everything that's by default, everything that's inside this volume here, this uh, cube, uh, will uh, keep and uh, will exist. And everything and out, all the particles that are in, uh, outside this volume will be killed. So let me go ahead and select this K volume, go to the K volume setting and click on fit to scene. And this way our K volume will include the entire logo and everything that goes 
uh, of this cube will be killed and this way we have we're, we're gonna have much more uh, simpler workflow and the simulation will go much more faster uh, so this is our first thing I'm gonna add the next thing I'm gonna add some gravity and uh, the gravity basically tries to move the particle down so when the particles uh, are uh, emitted up there they uh, try they, they, they will uh, come down here and this way we are gonna be able to fill the whole volume there this is the uh, second one I'm gonna add the next thing I'm going to add is the drag force basically what the drag force does it tries to slow down the crazy particle those particles who you know goes really crazy and uh, they speeds up the, the drag force basically tries to keep them calm and keep them uh, uh, you know in a consistency with the other particles and this drag force is something uh, sort of universal and I basically added to a lot of my scenes to make sure the particles are gonna uh, stay uh, where they are uh, by default it's uh, on a point one which the drag strength is uh, on point one which is quite enough the next thing I'm gonna add is uh, the surface tension it is something like drag force in its universality I mean I, I'm added I added for uh, to a lot of scenes just to make sure uh, the surface tension uh, it actually depends on the scene you're trying to uh, create uh, the surface tension tries to keep the particles together so uh, this way we are not gonna have so individual particles in the air and in this case this is exactly what we want we want the particles to stay together and finally uh, form our final logo so this is why I'm going to add this surface tension and the strength is uh, 5 lets me go uh, ahead to 3.5 maybe for starters now this is our basic setup and uh, uh, I think we're ready uh, definitely I'm going to add uh, more emitters along the way because these two are not going to be able to fill the volume exactly the way we want it and we possibly need to add a emitter maybe about here this part here just to make sure uh, the uh, volume will be filled a bit quicker and a bit nicer so but this is basically our basic setup and if you take a look at the relationship editor right now all the uh, let me just make it a bit bigger here you can see we have one central hub and everything is uh, basically uh, influence each other so we're gonna need to change some of the things uh, when we start actually uh, simulating now this is enough for this lesson in the next lesson we start our uh, main simulation and we will see what we need to change actually before going to do that I'm gonna change my strengths of the gravity it's a bit too much for this scene I'm gonna change it to about five okay and then we will see if uh, they are good or uh, we need to change them in the next lesson we, in the next lesson we'll be actually starting the simulation and we will see how the simulation is gonna uh, happen and if uh, there is any need to change anything so I'll, I'll see you in the next lesson